Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use the spread operator to evaluate arrays in place. ES6 introduces the spread operator which allows us to expand arrays and other expressions in place where multiple parameters or elements are expected. The ES5 code would use apply to compute the maximum value in an array. And uh, here they've got an array of 6, 89, 3, and 45. And then the maximums is the math.max.apply null array, which returns 89. Um, we had to use math.max.apply null array because math.max array returns nan. Math.max expects comma separated values, but not an array. Yeah, nice. The spread operator makes this syntax much better to read and maintain. So here we have an array of 689, and then we have got, we doing the math of all the uh, arrays passed in. So this is what we did last time, and we're using this um, JavaScript tool, which finds us the max element in an array, and we're just passing it in. Um, we're just passing in all of the numbers. So this returns an unpacked array. In other words, it spreads the array. However, the spread operator only works in place, like in an argument to a function or in an, the array, a literal. The following code will not work. So spread it dot 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 array. This throws a syntax error. Why is that? Because it must be passed into a, into a function as a parameter. Uh, copy all the contents of array one into, an another, into another array two using the spread operator. Uh, okay. Oh man, what should this be then? Let array two. Array two should be correct copy of array one. The spread operator was used to duplicate. What the heck are we trying to do here? It should remain unchanged when array one is changed. But it's basically, it's telling us that this shouldn't work. So we need to pass it in as a, as a, as a clone, right? So, um, oh, change this line. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Array one. That's how we do this. And then we get the duplicate of the thing. And we run the test. We see that they passed. So basically we're just cloning it. We could say that it's the same as this. It would probably work the same way. The, the results are the same. Does that pass the test? Okay, it doesn't because it wants us to use the spread operator. So yeah, the important thing is you can't just, you can't go like this. What this, is, what this is trying to tell us is you can't go like this. You need to pass it in as part of an array or part of a collection of parameters. And when we run the test, we see that passed. Hope you guys enjoy this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.